How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to compare addition of integers and subtraction of integers. This is a supplementary discussion about the operations on integers. So, before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to our session in ML with Sir Ash. As you can see in the whiteboard, we have several examples about addition and several examples about subtraction of integers. Now, for today's lesson, we're going to compare the answers and the process of solving addition and subtraction of integers. So the question is, how do they differ and how are they related with each other? Now, if you could still remember our video about addition of integers, there are only two rules in adding integers. The first one is that if you are adding like terms, meaning positive plus positive or negative plus negative, what you will do is you add the numbers and copy the sign. Now, if you have a scenario that is unlike terms, meaning positive plus negative or negative plus positive what you will do is you will subtract the values of your addends and then you will copy the sign of the bigger addend for your sum or your result for addition now let's put this into action we have here 8 plus 3 we have 3 plus 8 we have negative 10 plus negative 15 we have negative 5 plus negative 10. We have 26 plus negative 12. We have negative 12 plus 26. We have 13 plus negative 20. And we have negative 20 plus 13. These are the same values or the same numbers that we will be focusing also in subtraction. However, the operation matters. Okay, so let's compare whether the answers are just the same. Okay, now... Let's start into answering. 8 plus 3, that means positive plus positive. The answer for addition is that we will just add them directly and then copy the sign. Since both are positive, we just add 8 to 3 and we have the answer positive 11. Okay? The same goes if the two addends are interchanged with each other. 3 plus 8 is the same as equal to positive 11. Therefore, remember this, in addition, your two addends, whether you interchange them, the answer is still the same. Clear? Okay, now, let us compare this in our subtraction. Remember the rules in subtracting integers. When we subtract integers, what do we do? Okay, the first thing you should do is to change the minus into plus and then change the subtrahend into its opposite value and then proceed to addition or in a very clear manner this means that we need to change the sign of our subtrahend and then proceed to addition now let's try it 8 minus 3 that means we just copy our minuend these are the minuend and these are the subtrahend the minus these are the minus operation okay we will change that into plus okay and then our positive 3, we will change that into its opposite, that is negative 3. And the final answer is 8 plus negative 3. This is two opposite values or two opposite signs. So therefore, we will subtract 8 and 3, that is 5. And since our bigger value is 8 and it is positive, then our answer is positive 5. Very clear, right? Now, let's consider the next example. 3 minus 8. What if we interchange the subtrahend and the minuend? 3 minus 8 means we copy the 3, that is the minuend. We change minus into plus, and then we change our positive 8 into negative 8. This is again another example of two numbers or two addends that have different signs. So what we will do is we subtract the values 8 and 3, that is positive 5, and then copy the bigger value or the sign of the bigger value, and that is 8 
So we copy this into negative 5. So as you can see, in subtraction, if you interchange your minuend and subtrahend, the answer is not the same. Here is 5 and negative 5, while in this part, we have both positive 11. Now, let's consider if we have both negative numbers. We have here in addition, negative 10 plus negative 15. Remember, in addition, the same sign, you just add them and then copy the sign. So 10 plus 15, that is 25. Since they are both negative, so therefore, this is also negative. So our final answer is negative 25. Same goes, okay, I'm sorry. So let's put one here so that they are interchangeable. Okay, so what if they interchange with each other? Negative 15 plus negative 10, still they are both negative signs. So therefore, we copy the sign and we add directly the numbers 15 and 10 and that gives us 25. Okay, so now let us go to subtraction. So I'll just make this negative 5 into negative 15 so that they will become coincide with the given in the addition. Okay, now we have negative 10 minus negative 15. So what do we do? First is we copy the minuend, we change minus into plus, and we change negative 15 into its opposite, and that is positive 15. So we have negative plus positive, therefore, we will subtract each other, and that gives us 5. Since 15 here has a bigger value, and it is positive, then our final answer is positive 5. Now, how about this one? Negative 15 minus negative 10 so we copy negative 15 we change minus into plus and then we change our negative 10 our subtrahend into its opposite that is positive 10 so since they still have different signs so we will subtract the values and that gives us 5 however here in this example 15 has the bigger value and it is negative therefore the final answer is negative 5 so as you can see the answer is still not the same while here, the answer is the same. So you get the point that in addition, whether you change the addends, this one and this one, the answer is still the same. However, in subtraction, it is a different scenario. Now, let us go to addition if we have different signs. So we have here positive 26 plus negative 12. So since they are different with each other they have different signs we will subtract the values 26 and 12 that gives us 14 however our bigger value is 26 so therefore our final answer is 14 same goes if we have negative 12 plus 26 our 26 here has the bigger value and we will subtract each other because they are in different signs so the answer is still positive 14. Now, let us go, what if that scenario will be in subtraction? So, we have here 26 minus 12. Okay, 26 minus 12. So, what we will do is we copy 26, we change minus into plus, and we change the opposite, negative 12, that is positive 12. So, we have both signs, positive plus positive, therefore, we just add this, and we have positive 30. Simple, right? Now, let's go to this next example. We have negative 12 minus 26. So, negative 12, copy. Our minus will become plus. Our positive 26 will become negative 26. So, both are negative. Therefore, the final answer is negative. And we just add the numbers 12 and 26, giving us negative 38. So, as you can see, they are in still different answers. But here, we have the final answer that is both 14. Now, let us go to the last example. What if we have a bigger value or that is negative? Now, we have here 13 plus negative 20. Both are different signs. So, what we will do is we subtract the values giving us 7. But since our 20 is negative and it is bigger than the positive 13, Therefore, our final answer is negative 7. Now, let's go here. We have negative 20 plus 13. Still, both in different signs. So, what we will do is we subtract the values. We have 7. And the bigger 
sine here is negative. So therefore, our final answer is negative 7. Now, let us compare that to our subtraction. We have here 13 minus 20, same. However, the operation is different. Okay, so 13 minus 20. We copy 13, the minus become plus, and the negative 20 will become positive 20, giving us the final answer of positive 33 because positive plus positive is positive. And then we go here, negative 20, we copy that one. The minus will become plus, and the 13, which is positive, will become negative. So we have negative plus negative. That gives us negative 33. So, I hope you get the difference between addition of integers and subtraction of integers. Okay? Remember that in adding integers, what we'll do? Same sign, copy the sign, then add the numbers immediately. If they are unlike signs, what you will do is you subtract the values and then copy the sign of the bigger addend. Okay. In subtraction, there is only one rule. The rule is you copy the minuend, you change the minus into plus, and you change the sign of the subtrahend. And then, you proceed to addition. In addition, you just follow the rules. So, I hope it is clear for you, my dear math learners, on how to add and subtract integers. This is still your free access math teacher. And remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you very much. And don't forget to please click that subscribe button and notification bell. And please share this video in order for us to share the good news of how math can be learned easily. Thank you again, stay safe, and God bless.